Hey, I have not had the easiest week. Uh, I've just had a lot of anxiety symptoms, some of which I'm dealing with. Uh, I ended up going to the doctor twice, and they checked me out and everything, and I'm fine. But the stress and the anxiety is uh, its obviously getting to me, so I need to take a break. Uh, today, I went to a local nerd convention. Uh, I've been going there for about three years. Uh, it's like probably the worst one I've been to. Uh, it was very small. There weren't that many people there didn't really seem like they were accommodating the uh, the gamers there at all, which is kind of weird because it's like a gaming-themed nerd convention. <laughs> uh, the good news is that I, I did get uh, third place at the Dragon Ball Fighters tournament, which is kind of amazing because I'm, I'm pretty ass at that game. <laughs> the bad news is my Switch seems to be acting up. Uh, while I was at the convention, uh, I, I was playing some Battle Circuit on the Capcom Beat-Em-Up bundle, and uh, I put it in sleep mode, and then I came back uh, a while later, I don't know exactly how much time had passed, and then uh, basically the Switch was not waking up from sleep mode, and when it did wake up, I had to keep pushing the button like crazy. Uh, it would do a hard reset, and I would lose all my progress in sleep mode. Now, uh, I understandably <laughs> I think even people without uh, mental illnesses would freak out, but I, fro I freaked out because I just really don't want to deal with this shit right now. I got home. Uh, I connected the official Joy-Con, and for some reason that seems to have fixed it. Uh, I don't really know what could cause it. I was thinking that maybe the, the Wi-Fi there was spotty. Uh, maybe the Switch was trying to connect or something. Uh, I think that that could be it. Uh, however, it seems like Nintendo, unlike most companies like Amazon, they actually respect their employees, and they, they're closed at a, a reasonable hour. I called them at about 7 p.m. It's about 7.40 right now, and they're closed. So, uh, tomorrow I will call them, and I'll see if this is something to be concerned about. Uh, if it is, uh, I should be fine. Uh, chances are I'm going to fight for them to give me a free month of uh, the Switch Online so that I can back up all my saves and shit and then just give it back. Uh, you may remember I did the, uh, the fundraiser drive for the Switch uh, back uh, at the beginning of the year and I bought it around February so I still have about four months left of warranty so it actually is kind of a blessing in disguise uh, if it is on its way out then I can get it taken care of now and I should be good for the foreseeable future but that's the, that's the short of it. I have just had a shitty week so I need to just chill out today so I thought I would show some progress with Jay, and I'll do a little bit of dailies with Harpy. It's crazy how, like, old NES systems from, like, 1985 are still working, and even if they aren't, they just take, like, a little bit of elbow grease and some mild, like, part replacements to get working again, and then the Switch is, like, I barely had it for six months and it's already on the way out. Anyway, I got the, uh, I think this is the, the Tindalus set with Jay, so that's pretty damn awesome. Now, I had the hardest time getting this one to Tier 3. Uh, I don't really know why, uh, the game just didn't want to give me the Tier 3, but I finally got it this morning before I left to the convention. So this gives him a pretty big buff on punch through. I don't know how much of that actually carries over to Dragon Kick, but it actually works out pretty well. Now, clothesline, before the buff, uh, we just had a revamp patch earlier this week. Uh, that was like one of the worst moves you could use on a boss because it basically did no damage. It's very slow and awkward. Uh, they changed it to, it's more of like a combo into a command throw in like fighting game terms. So it actually works quite well now. So you get that buffed, and then you get your Biomagnetism buffed, which I'm not sure if that actually buffs EX. Uh, I know that we're going to get um, Transcendable, I don't know the word for it, but you'll be able to transcend the uh, the receivers later on. You'll also be able to compound or combine all these, uh, like the purification accessories, so you'll have more space. So basically people will be running with uh, basically all three sets in three slots and then you put your uh, your extreme set for the, the bonuses but right now we don't have that so right now you just kind of have to get all the pieces and kind of go from there now I did all my uh, stuff with Jay today actually I can go ahead and I can do a side I'll go ahead and I'll show the buffed clothesline I don't even really feel like playing video games much today <laughs> it's just been 
such a shitty week. I really hope that my Switch is not broken, but either way, it'll be fine. So I'll go ahead and I'll show the buffed clothesline. He does that, like, uh, combo before he does the actual clothesline. He does more damage overall. Uh, they gave him a dragon kick at the end of Omega-3 Rush. EX Omega-3 Rush, rather. So it's nice to have an extra dragon kick in your uh, rotation. I'm not sure what it scales off of. I'm not sure if it scales off punch through or if it's its own thing. I'll have to get back to you guys on that. Also, when you use your FM2, you get your uh, vitamin combo, uh, like, cooldown reset, and you get, I think, level 7 of it as well. So that's a pretty big rotation, buff to his rotation. There we go. Yeah, you do get all the vitamin points back as well, so that's pretty sweet. He definitely uh, requires kind of have to relearn how to play him because your rotation is going to change quite a bit now that your EX Omega 3 rush all right, it's called 100 fists in this version I keep calling it the Korean version now that it gives you dragon kick you kind of have to remember to do that also you're going to be using clothesline in your rotation on bosses now whereas before you really only used it if you had like no other option <laughs> and now you need to remember to uh, use your vitamin combo or your, your sonic jab before you use your FM2 because when you use your FM2 it will reset it back so you can actually do it twice in succession also EX 100 fists also refills it as well so if you can get a plus one on one of your boosters or modules then that actually uh, gives you even more So I think if you hit at the end of the hitbox, you get some kind of buff or something. I obviously have not really uh, gotten that far into it yet, but... Overall, he feels more fun to play. It does kind of suck how you have to relearn him, but... It kind of works out because he, uh, he's much stronger, his rotations are better. Just does more damage overall, and he has more options too. So the next things I'll be doing with him is I need to get the, uh, the Alphys set so I can awaken his full body massage and then I need to get the final piece but it's really hard to do that right now because we're still in kind of a uh, material and crafting material drought at the moment. I, they did uh, lighten up the requirements for a lot of the, uh, the crafting items or like craftable items in this latest patch so hopefully that will help but it's a combination of just the demand and there's just not that many people playing. No, it's kind of a bummer at the moment. Like, you can buy these, but they don't convert to the sticky residue as well as the other stuff does. Alright, so I'll go ahead and I'll show my progress on Harpy. I don't think I'm going to bother doing dailies today. I'm pretty tired. Very exhausted from all the stress and anxiety. So, on Harpy, uh, I am pretty much done with all the RNG stuff. I've got plus 13 Yod engine, and then I've got the two of the, uh, the Halfus set. 
which awakens both interlude squall and exciting again which is really good with her uh, her new buffs so I'm sitting at about 1.3 million uh, total combat power right now I still need to optimize these but I haven't really felt like putting any money in the game at the moment so I'm kind of just dealing with it the way it is now EX Zephyr when you max it out at level 10 or when you max out the skill cubes uh, it, re it lowers the cooldown of Air Drive, Cyclone, and Harpy Strike by 5 seconds. So you can actually have your Harpy Strike, uh, like, I wouldn't say 1 to 1, but you can have it pretty close to 1 to 1, maybe like a couple seconds. Uh, you know, and you do have other iframes as well. So I definitely enjoy having this. I need to work on my skill cubes and stuff. Overall, she's gotten uh, a lot stronger. Uh, her FM3... You can see right there, she doesn't do like the big wing kick anymore. Uh, basically, that has been moved to the second cast of Interlude Squall. Now, when you do Interlude Squall twice in a row, uh, it does the same animation, but if you do something in between those two casts of Interlude Squall, then she does a special animation and it does more damage. Now, here we go. When activating the skill and using another skill or casting again after a double jump, damage is increased and activates an air attack that counts as both back attack and chase. So it does pretty crazy damage overall. I think you can go straight into the failed uh, grab of the EX Sonic Boom by holding down. Yeah, it says that right here. She got a bunch of other damage buffs as well. Definitely doing a lot more damage. I haven't really made any significant changes to my gear aside from this, which isn't that big of a change because it's not part of a set bonus. I pretty much just have this because it's a level 80 item. It's plus 13. <coughs> Excuse me. And it has just a bunch of uh, raw attack on it. So I have 30k, 30.3k raw right now. And then I just need to replace that final extreme piece. I don't remember exactly where I was with my progress. But I did some of it this morning. So I could pretty much craft this right now. I do have the money for it, but it's probably better to wait until I have enough for this one. And I still need a, a lot more of the contaminated dimensional essence. So I'll have to run a bunch of uh, sides and stuff like that. Alright, so I'm just going to run a side today. I don't feel like doing all my dailies. I'm pretty tired been up since like six o'clock at the con all day and then I had the tournament and then my uh, switch started to freak out so <laughs> I don't really feel like doing all that shit right now like there's the special uh, animation right there. It does seem to do more damage. I'm not sure if it does more than it did pre-patch. It's kind of weird. Like, you look at DFO and the, the DFO or the section of Neopal that handles the, uh, you know, the American DFO or the international one. Probably the better term since everybody's able to play it. Like, they put out really detailed patch notes and obviously, you know, if you're a hardcore fan, then you know exactly what's changed, but if you aren't, you kind of just have to log on and play. <laughs> it gets really weird. Uh, they don't they don't post like actual patch notes. Like this is obviously uh, a massive patch. This pretty much has us uh, caught up to the Korean version in terms of balance patches, as far as I know. But all they post on the site is just the generic. You know, all the all the characters got revamped in PVE and PVP, which is <laughs> doesn't really make things any less confusing. Thankfully, the people who play the Korean version uh, translated these uh, balance changes that we have now back in April. They also made a pretty nice change. Uh, two weeks ago, they put out some new like Steam sale type thing where you can like buy uh, like cash items in a big package. But the problem was the the value of it was terrible. I think it was like $50 for the first one and it had a bunch of useless shit like the gardening vouchers and things like that which nobody who plays this needs anymore, especially since we have unlimited fatigue so the, uh, the gardening and housing system as it is is not anywhere near as useful as it is on the other versions where their fatigue is limited daily. 
and they have to use that system to get more uh, account fatigue. Basically, it was, it was like, I think it was $50 for one, it was like $100 for the other one. And it was mostly really useless stuff. It wasn't really anything that you would go out of your way to buy. And uh, a bunch of people complained. You know, they said that, even the whales said that. <laughs> I think it was uh, one of the other NMAS partners. He said that, you know, he talked to a bunch of whales. And the whales didn't even want to buy it. It's like, if the whales don't want to spend $100 on your game for cash items, then something's obviously <laughs> seriously wrong. So what happened was, uh, about two days ago, they got rid of that bundle and they rotated in new ones. And the new ones are actually pretty nice. Uh, I I'm not going to pull it up right now because it's just going to make things more complicated. But it's a $5 and $10 one, uh, respectively. And I think the $10 one has a plus 12 booster. Uh, if you get both of them, it's $15 in total and you get 45 days of Elite. So if you have Platinum, it's actually pretty nice. If you don't have Platinum, then you can get halfway there for just $15. Now, there's also a hyperclocked equalizer in there as well, so you can sell that for a couple dozen million. Let's see if I can craft a uh, entry item. Nah, I can't. I'm just going to stop there. <laughs> But I just thought I'd let you guys know what's going on. Uh, I will keep you guys posted about the Switch as soon as I can. Obviously, there's not really anything uh, serious going on right now on the Switch anyway. <coughs> oh, you have to excuse me. Uh, they did patch sort of the Guardian to have uh, D-pad play. I was actually playing that a little bit at the convention today. So I'll, I'll go into that when I can. Uh, for now, uh, I'm going to let the Switch rest until I talk to them tomorrow and see if that's, uh, you know, if they can isolate the cause, if I actually need to send it in or not. Uh, in terms of Patreon, uh, I did lose uh, two backers this month, so that's been pretty hard for me. Uh, I do need those funds. I do still owe like $282 on the, uh, the PC upgrade bill, so it's been a pretty big uh, hit to my like revenue and stuff like that, so if you guys want to help me out, you can. Uh, you know, if you want to give me some feedback on what you would like to uh, you know, incentivize backing me, go ahead and let me know about that too. I will be taking things easy for a while. Uh, I have been under uh, an extremely high amount of stress and anxiety this past week, and I need to watch it before my symptoms get even worse. Uh, I have not heard back from KTA about the Orochi 4 key. Uh, as far as I know, nobody has received one, so it's not like I'm being singled out or anything. It's just like they just haven't gotten around to it yet. They did say that they're very busy. So, uh, hopefully, maybe next week I will hear back about that. If not, uh, worst case scenario, if they're just not able to give out keys for whatever reason, on the 10th, I think I will get like 45 to $50 from ad revenue. So, I will just go ahead and, and use that to buy it. Uh, I have to admit, the game is very, very light on endgame content. The endgame content, <laughs> for all intents and purposes, is basically like non-existent. So, uh, you know, if I do play it again, it will probably just be for... You know, just messing around with the tag combos and stuff. Uh, I will buy the season pass. I should have money for that this month as well. So until then, I'm just going to chill. Uh, I'm, I'm going to be working on my Assault Spy speedrun and stuff like that. So we'll see what happens. Anyway, I apologize for the, uh, the, the low-key videos this week. I needed to take a break. I hope you guys will understand. And I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Peace.